Well, the Tide's seven game winning streak came to an end last night against the Syracuse Chiefs. Today, another doubleheader against the Nationals AAA affiliate. Now, in the minor leagues, doubleheaders are seven inning games. Bottom six, Tide's trailing one to nothing. And here's one way to score a run Chance Cisco batting with a runner on third. And the Tides plate the tying run after the Syracuse pitcher called for a balk. Then, in the bottom of the seventh, the Tides walk it off Luis Sardinas. The game winning home run to left the Tides. Take game one over the Chiefs, two to one. All right, now to game two. Remember, in the minor leagues, doubleheaders are seven innings. It was scoreless after seven innings. So extra innings. Both teams scored a run apiece in the eighth. Both teams scored a run apiece in the tenth, and in the eleventh, and in the twelfth. Syracuse scored a run in the top of the thirteenth, and then in the bottom of the thirteenth, with a man on second, this happened. Here's the 0 1 from Smith. High fly ball belted deep and right off the bat of Valera. Back to the warning track of the wall. Deaza leaping, can't get it. It stays in play though and rolls along the warning track. In to score is Mullins. Down to third base is Valera. They're waving him home. Here comes the relay. The play at the plate thrown over the head of Tuffy Gosowich. It's an inside the park two run home run by Bravik Valera to win it for the Tides. Bravik Valeria acquired from the Dodgers in a Manny Machado trade with the inside the park walk off home run as the Tides defeat the Syracuse Chiefs 6 to 5 in 13 innings. The Tides take 3 of 4 from the Chiefs, and all three wins were in walk off fashion. Toledo comes to Harbor Park for a three game series beginning tomorrow, and Wavy's Katie Collette will be throwing out the first pitch. Good luck, Katie.